we'll be uh, measuring a small quantity of uranium metal. This level of measurements incorporated Model 3 survey meter. It has an attached uh, Model 44-9 GM detector which um, detects alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. So we'll take a look at our uranium metal. This particular specimen is uh, just slightly over three grams of uh, highly refined uranium-238. Get a little bit closer view of it. And um, it's also sealed in um, inert argon gas within this plastic uh, bag so that it uh, maintains the integrity of the specimen. And there's several small fragments of U-238. A couple of them or a few of them are contained within this small styrofoam pouch inside the plastic. There's one piece of U-238 uh, protruding right there. But this particular specimen or specimens of U-238 uh, is very very pure, 99.68% pure U-238. It has an impurity of U-235 um, which measures 0.31% and some U-234, uranium-234, measured at 0.0055% uh, of the um, specimen represented here. U-238 uh, emits alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. So let's go ahead and take a few measurements with our survey instrument. First of all, we'll turn our survey meter on, perform a battery check. Battery check is indicating positive or good batteries. We're getting some uh, residual um, indicators of uh, background radiation plus some from the uh, specimen that we're going to measure because we're in relative close proximity. So let's remove the detector from the instrument. We're going to go ahead and reset our instrument and move the uh, scale down to the 0.1 times setting, which at that scale will give us a readings up to about 660 counts per minute. So as we move the uh, pancake relatively close to the uh, specimen that we're measuring of U-238, we're already off scale, which indicates that it's emitting more than 660 counts uh, per minute. Of course. We knew that already. So we'll go ahead and restart our instrument, move up to the one time setting, which will give us a true reading on the scale here up to about uh, 6,600 counts per minute. We'll move the 449 detector close to the specimen again. As we get closer, within approximately an inch and a half of the specimen, we're off scale again, which means that it's emitting more than 6,600 counts per minute. Of course I expected that. So, we'll back off, reset our instrument, and we'll move up to the times 10 scale. And at the times 10 scale, uh, our meter will max out at about 66,000 counts per minute. So here we go. And as we get close to the uh, U-238, the closer we get, of course, the higher reading we're going to get. And we're peaking out at about 54,000 counts per minute in very close proximity to the uh, measured specimen. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and place the 44.9 back in the uh, handle attachment of the survey meter. Reset our instrument, and we'll see if we can get a little bit closer view of the uh, instrument and the specimen. Okay, let's go ahead and reset. You can see our scale there, and picking up the uh, U-238. And moving it close to the pancake. You can see the uh, amount of radiation is increasing steadily. 
and we're actually peaking right at 60,000 counts per minute. It's a pretty hot source. Actually, it's going up to about 62,000 counts per minute. So, that's a very active source. Very active source. Again, with a half life of approximately 4.5 billion years. It's going to be a good, reliable source for a very long time. Go ahead and cut off the audio of our survey meter. <laughs>